What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a very different kind of opening. We're actually going to be opening up some Magic the Gathering stuff, and one thing we've never opened before, some of our secret layers. So, we showed this off in our most recent mail day, uh, and this is the situation where I ordered this back in February, uh, and we only just got it now, and um, they forgot to include our Theros booster pack, so very frustrating. And then I saw on Reddit that some people were reporting that some of the Planeswalkers inside were creased and I ideally I keep these sealed but if they're going to be damaged cards I would like to identify that and actually have wizards replace them uh, so here's the plan hopefully they are fine and if they're fine we're just going to call it a day uh, if they are creased we may have to so we do have more than one set so we may have to keep going to um, I basically while I do want to keep these sealed again I don't want sealed ones that are damaged goods I'd rather have them all opened and Kind of like verify that at least they're in good condition so yeah we do have a magic gather opening but uh this is a pretty old product at this point and uh but if you've never seen these it's pretty cool they, they send it in pretty cool packaging although it's pretty it's quite a bit uh for like only a handful of cards inside and then you actually get a pretty cool planeswalker out of the bottom of it and so this is the Theros kind of like constellation gods. We got Heliod right here. And there you see like in the bottom is where you get the planeswalker. And it does come, oh actually, so it wasn't like glued. A lot of times they're like kind of like glued to the bottom. Maybe that's where like the creases are coming from. Let's take actual we'll look at the uh, these cards first. My first time opening up, so I'm not exactly sure how to do this. All right, there we go. All right, so hopefully I get this video out pretty quickly. Uh, so if you are seeing this on Saturday, we will be participating in the Players Cup around 3.30. We got Heliod. This uh, Kara Metra, God of Harvest, and then Erios. God of Victory. All right, let's leave these up. And then we'll take a look at the Planeswalker again. Hopefully it's fine, and then we don't need to open up all of them. I wonder if this is kind of like what killed like the Theros boost uh, collectors. They just had so many mythics, but then, you know, the, if you get a lot of those constellation mythics, it's like, but is this the best one? So as far as like the singles market, do you even want those? I think in some situations, the, the regular art was maybe more expensive. All right, so these do look pretty cool, I will admit. And I don't see any creases from the back side. We got the Wanderer, and I don't see any creases. So here's that glue glob that didn't really um, stick, but I'm guessing, I wonder if, if, like, if the glue does become undone, that that is potential for that creasing that we're looking for. So first one, no problem, which is a huge positive. That way I can keep my other one sealed. That would be ideal. Again, I would prefer to have these sealed, but I do want to play it safe and uh, want to maximize my chance of having not having sealed product with damaged goods on the inside. All right, so here we go into box number two, volume two. We got Thassa. And, oh yeah, so once again, the glue not really doing its job. Yeah, and as you can see, there's only what, three, four cards total in these things, and it's like quite a big box. The packaging does feel really nice, but uh, these things, you know, they're definitely not cheap. And sure, it is like a premium item. But I feel like they possibly could have cut costs. I'm not sure if they would <laughs> extend the savings to the players, but here we go, Thassa, God of Sea. Just take a whole stack of these out. We got Ifara. Yeah, Ifara, I think. God of Polis. So now some of these gods are dual colored at this point. And Krufix, God of Horizons. All right, and then our Planeswalker. So I believe you can get Liliana from this, but I think it's from the Erebos one. Kashima, 
Such uh, spells your planeswalker target player cast cost two more to cast. All right. All right, we got three more boxes left. But yeah, so I usually do pick up most of the secret lairs. Uh, I think I didn't get like the basic land one, the Godzilla land. That one, I don't know. That sounded like pretty high price. And of course, or we did not pick up the fetch land thing for what was it? Oh, at one point, people were talking about like five hundred dollars or something. So this one actually is glued to the bottom, which actually I find more annoying. It's, it was easy to get the card out when it wasn't like really glued down. Not sure what the best way to do this is. All right, I think we got it out unscathed. All right, we got, all right, here's Erebos, okay. So that one was glued down. Hopefully that doesn't cause the damage because this could be the Liliana, uh, the the general. All right, so we got Erebos. I think Erebos is like the one that controls the underworld where those guys with the masks are. Phoenix, God of Deception. And then Air Threos, God of Passage. That one looks pretty cool. All right, can we find the Liliana? Ooh, Obnixilus. And, but once again, you know what? It, it does look pretty good. All right, I think I can actually open this. I am going to just stick it in a binder. I'm not going to keep this sealed. Especially with that big glob of glue on there. I'm always kind of nervous about opening these. These like single card packages. Yeah, so a bit of a different opening, but I figure, you know what? Uh, if, if there is damage, it probably does help to have the opening recorded and looks good from here. I'm gonna, I'll open the other ones after the fact. I figure I'll just take a close look at least one of them. But yeah, this is what the stained glass planeswalker is all about. For anyone that's not too familiar with them. All right, two left. Volume five. So there's a lot of volumes on this one. But again, ordered this back in mid-February, so. Nearly five months to get it to me. Yeah, there's a lot going on in the world, but like, I think what what made it worse was they had the right ideas. Like, all right, we'll we'll send them some Theros stuff in for compensation, but then they kind of bungled that up too. Where first they sent people booster boxes, and then said, "Oh, that was a mistake. We meant to just send you a pack." And obviously, that's not going to go over well. Unless you're one of the people that got the booster box. Come on. Alright. Wasn't too bad. Alright, let's see. God of the Forge. A lot of plastic at this point. A lot of plastic and cardboard. John, wasn't there something weird about the foil on this? All right, then we got Mogus, God of Slaughter. Then God of Storms, Kyranos. Not sure what the Planeswalker we're looking for here is. Oh, Shano Fire Artisan. I'm not sure if this is one of the better ones. Whenever one or more loyal cons are removed, it deals that much damage. Eh, that's not that. Eh. Okay, last one. But the good news is 
We don't need to open any more after these five. They are all intact. While I suppose there is a chance, uh, again, I, my preference was definitely to keep them sealed anyway. So I feel like we can be a little bit more confident in doing that. Obviously there's a chance like, oh, this was the only one that was intact. That would be worst case scenario. All right, we got Nylea. All right, that one came out relatively easily. And it was actually a little bit sticky, but just very little. All right. For the last box. A bunch of cleaning up to do now. Got God of the Hunt. Mono Green. Xenagos, God of Revels. And then lastly, Farika, God of Affliction. All right, a lot of God cards here. And our last stain glass, Planeswalker. Can we get something good? I saw like a, I'm not sure where it comes from, but um, what's the, the, uh, the drag, uh, Raska. Actually, that makes sense. But we got Swarm of Eminence. Pretty nice, but uh, actually like, never mind. It does kind of tell you like the rarity. So we kind of had some uncommons from War of the Spark, obviously. I don't remember where Fire Artisans from Raska Swarm. That's probably from Swar uh, War as well. But uh, yeah, so that worked out really well. Nothing was damaged. I'm gonna keep the rest sealed. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned or tune into our live stream today. If you wanna watch us participate in the Players Cup, there's gonna be a delay. Uh, stream delay but um anyway guys hope to see you there i'm wanna turtle and i'll catch you guys next time